Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll take a look at tables, their relationships, and then we'll dip into ServiceNow to show you a few tips on table management. So let's get started. Each ServiceNow instance has over 2,000 out of the box tables. The majority of these tables relate directly to the applications inside of ServiceNow. Each application has one or more tables. For example, there is an incident table for the incident application, and there are hundreds of CMDB tables for the CMDB or configuration application. Each table contains many fields, which we'll go over in the next video. Tables can extend other tables as well. We'll discuss table extensions here in the next few slides. There is also a naming convention used for the tables in ServiceNow. All table names are lowercase and use underscores instead of spaces. However, tables do have human readable labels, which may contain capitalizations and spaces. If a developer creates a table, it will be prefixed with u underscore and then the name of the table. With an admin role, we can create and modify existing tables. So here at the bottom, we can see my custom table on the left is the table label. However, the actual table name is u underscore my underscore custom underscore table. Table names are important when scripting, as we'll see within the next few sections. Now let's discuss table relationships. So in this diagram, we have a person table, a student table, and a faculty table. The faculty and student tables extend the person table. We can also say that the person table is the parent table, and the student and faculty tables are the child tables. So why do we need a person table at all? Why not just have a student and faculty table? Well, we could, but it would cause unnecessary redundancies, since each student has a first name and last name, and each faculty member has a first name and last name as well. We can put those common fields in a parent table and inherit them. Now, the person table can hold all information that is common among students and faculty, while the student table has fields that are specific to students only, and the faculty table has fields that are specific to only the faculty. An example for faculty-only fields would be something like salary. Extended tables also have the option to add dictionary overrides to their fields. Let's say the person table contains a user ID field, which the student table inherits. However, when we refer to students in the student table, we would like the user ID field to actually be called the student ID. We can do this with a dictionary override, which overrides the person's user ID label with student ID only for student records. So faculty records would still have the inherited user ID label. Dictionary overrides are commonly used in the out-of-the-box system with the task table and the task table's children table, such as incident, problem, change request, etc. Table relationships are very important in the CMDB. The CMDB application consists of hundreds of different tables, which are all related to one another. This allows ServiceNow to create what are called business service maps. So if a physical server goes down, we can see all of the other software and hardware that is dependent on that one server, such as an exchange server due to table relationships defined in the CMDB. Relationships can be either one-to-many, which is most common, or even many-to-many. -many. An example of one-to-many relationships would be every table 
has one or more fields. Every field belongs to only one table. An example of a many-to-many -many relationship would be each user can have many groups, and each group can have many users. Now let's take a look at an example of table relationships within the CMDB. The majority of CI class tables extend the CMDB underscore CI table. For example, at the bottom of the diagram, we have a Windows Server and Linux Server CI class table. Its parent table is more general, called CMDB CI Server, or the Server class. At the bottom right, we have a web application whose parent is a general application. Now let's quickly go over some of the most common tables and their names in ServiceNow. It's important to note that there are thousands of tables in ServiceNow, so it's not realistic to cover them all, nor are you required to memorize them for any particular reason. So first we have the task table, which is the parent table for a number of tables such as the incident table, the problem table, and the change request table. The task table stores common information such as a number field, a short description field, assigned to field, and assignment group fields. Then the incident problem and change request tables all inherit these fields since they are children of the task table. We then have the sys user table, which is where ServiceNow users are stored, and the sys user group table, where the groups in ServiceNow are stored. The sys user role table stores all of the roles in ServiceNow. We also have a CMN underscore location table, which stores all locations in the platform, and a core company table, which is used to store companies or organizations in the platform. We then have our knowledge management tables. So we have KB underscore knowledge, which stores the actual knowledge articles, KB underscore, KB underscore category, which stores the knowledge categories, and a KB underscore knowledge underscore base, which stores the knowledge base records. Then we have some of the core service catalog tables, such as SC request for the requests, SC rec item for the request items, and SC task for the catalog tasks. We also have SC catalog for the service catalogs, in SC CAD item to store the actual catalog items. Then I have two CMDB tables, the CMDB CI, which is a parent table to many other tables, and the CMDB CI server table, which is both a child to the CMDB CI table and a parent to many of the child server tables. This isn't an exhaustive list by any means, but just a short list of what I consider to be some of the core ServiceNow tables. In reality, there are many other service catalog tables a part of the service catalog application and knowledge tables a part of the knowledge management application. The tables and columns module can be a great one-stop shop for information about a particular table. The list on the left shows all tables within the system ordered by their label. The list in the middle shows all fields on a specific table. Finally, the list on the right shows attributes for a specific field. It also allows you to launch the schema map of a particular table. The schema map is a visual diagram that shows table relationships. We can focus on a table, and the schema map will show all tables that extend or are extended by the focus table, as well as referenced tables. In the image, we can see the focus table is incident, which has a relation to incident task, sysuser, and a number of other tables. 
Now let's take a look at these modules within ServiceNow. So to start with, we'll go to the Tables and Columns module. And here on the left, we can see a list of all of the tables in the system. So we'll scroll down and select Incident. And the middle column shows us all of the fields on the incident table. If we select a field or column name, then we have the column attributes shown on the right hand side. So all of the attributes associated with this specific field. We can also expand reference fields. So for example, the company field here is a reference field. So if we click the plus button, we can directly access all of the related fields on that reference table. If I click the schema map button, this will load the schema map with the incident table as its focus. So here on the left, we can see all tables that are referencing the incident table. And on the right, we can see all referenced tables by the incident table. We can also expand the columns on the incident table and even expand the task columns since the incident table extends the task table. We can also focus on another table by right clicking and selecting focus on this table. Now this has the task table as the focus table and we can see here that there are many tables that are related and referenced by the task table.